Hello and welcome along to Mondo Chalavet Movies. My name is John. In this video, I'm going to talk about the recently released 4K of Gregory's Girl. Now, it was a no-brainer for me to get this movie because I absolutely love this movie. This movie is, for me, is my childhood. At the time this came out, I was probably not the same age as Gregory, but I wasn't far off it. And to get this on 4K was going to be one that I wasn't going to wait for at all to see what the reviews were like. So I went in this kind of blind. And with it being released by BFI, I knew it was going to be a pretty good transfer. Previously, I've got the Blu-ray here, which is from Second Sight. This is the funny release by Second Sight because it's not really one of their big releases, even though I think they could have done a much better job with it. Because I think just really packaging, the picture on here isn't my favourite cover on here. Although the cover art on here isn't really ever been good for Gregory's Girl. Even the original poster was a little bit kind of not that good. The back of it actually looks like it's a copy. You know, it looks like a bit of a, a bootleg. But, you know, it's a legitimate release. And Second Sight have done a pretty good job with the Blu-ray. So what I'm going to do is, throughout this video, I'm going to drop some screenshots from the Blu-ray and also from the 4K so you can compare them side to side. Now, I've just I bought it this morning and I've watched it. Because it's funny, it's one of these movies that I could watch time and time again. Actually, when I finished watching this the last time, which was quite recently, I thought I'm going to watch this again instantly, which is what I used to do with this movie back in the day. I watched this movie countless times. So I went up to town today, got this just very quickly, picked this up, and uh, I'm quite pleased with the presentation that BFI have done for the packaging. The cover art that they've done for this one is quite good. Never seen this design before. Must be a new uh, drawing here. Really nice. And you've got some extras on here, which I'll talk about. You also get a booklet in this uh, in this edition. Gregory's Girl by Bill Forsyth, Lake Films Productions Limited, Glasgow, May 1980. So I would have been 12 when this film came out. And this movie, I mean, Gregory, I think he's probably around about, meant to be about 16 in the movie, even though he's 18 when he made it. And, <laughs> well, you've seen a bit of... Uh, words in there and you may think well this is the original post i used to have this on vhs as well i think i say i've taped this off the tv had it on vhs this is a nice booklet it's got a lot of stuff in here i really want to read this booklet i don't read many of them because i don't read really that much at all these days and i want to find out as much as i can about this movie because it's it's one that i've um i grew up with watched like i say countless times and i think that's there's a lot to be there's a lot of nostalgia with me. I think that when I put this movie on, I'm transported immediately back to my school and what we used to do and used to the sort of feelings you used to have and the, the way you used to sort of interact with each other. It kind of is exactly like this movie. It's a, it's a great snapshot for that reason. It deals with Gregory and his trials and tribulations on how to get a girl. You know, we've all been there in school. It's got the a presentation there. Now this is now that's pertinent to the story there. It's good to have that actually. This this here. If you've seen the movie, you know exactly what that means. There's one 4K disc in here. There's no Blu-ray. So if you're after a Blu-ray, I don't know if there's actually there is a Blu-ray release of this one. I'm not too sure. I think there probably is, but you only get the 4K in here. Now for £19.99, I'm more than happy with that. I don't think you need to pay anything more than that if you're going to get the 4K one. And they split the Blu-ray up into the, the Blu-ray one release. So I think that's going to be round about the £16 mark. So really, if, if you can, if you've got 4K, you, you would just pay the extra couple of quid to get this. I'm really pleased that this has been released on 4K. I'm quite surprised in a way that it was. It's one of the ones, the, the movies that you think would never sort of see the light of day in 4K. You probably wouldn't even think about it. So I put this movie on and watched it immediately. I've seen this countless times, but every every time I still am transported to my childhood when I was starting the big school in 1979. So this movie is from 1980, and all of the clothes in here are exactly the clothes that we used to wear at school, all the hairstyles, uh -huh, are the kind of hairstyles that you used to have in school. Put this on, hoping it was going to look good. BFI, you know, and actually... With it being second sight, I'm surprised that second sight haven't got this and done this, you know, this uh, 4K. But I thought that second sight do good Blu-rays. And as you'll see, the star of this is the HDR. The colours on here 
are so much more vibrant than the Blu-ray. Blu-ray is already, don't get us wrong, it's quite a good Blu-ray. But this one, this 4K, does really come to life. And it's got a lot of extra sharpness for me. And in my eyes, this is the definitive version of Gregory's Girl. I'm so pleased it is. I would hate it to be sort of more or less exactly the same as the Blu-ray. But as soon as I put the Blu-ray on, I could tell that the colours were kind of muted compared to the, the 4K. The 4K, the, the colours, the primary colours just really stick out. And it was, a, especially the greens, there's a lot of greens in here. There's a lot of trees around the school and like foliage. A lot of that really comes to life. As I said, I'm going to put lots of screenshots in here. I'm going to put Blu-ray version on first and then the 4K version. So, special features. This has got a few special features in. It's not a bad release. But in here, you get extra special features, which is good, because I thought maybe they just have exactly the same ones on and you don't get much more. But when you when you look at it, you get an extra commentary, a brand new commentary, by with Robert Buchanan, Douglas Sanachan, Sanachan, wow, and Caroline Guthrie. Now I think they're obviously stars of the show, and you get Gregory's Girl Q and A with John Gordon Sinclair, who is Gregory, and Claire, Claire Grogan and D Hepburn. That's from 2015, that's 30 minutes. The stars of Gregory's Girl are interviewed on stage by Sue Harris to mark the film's 35th anniversary. You get Bill Forsyth, The Early Years, 2014, uh, an archival review, which is on here. You also get the Strathclyde tapes, Bill Forsyth, 1992, 38 minutes. The writer and director discusses his career and film craft with an audience of school, school children in this rarely seen archival interview. So that's that's not in here. You get Claire Grogan, Gregory's Girl Memories, 2014. That's on here. An interview with, with her. And then you get Soundtrack Gallery, which isn't on here. That's brand new with this one. Alternative takes and unused music from Gregory's Girl, accompanied by a selection of stills from the BFI National Archives. That's quite interesting, actually. I like the music on here. And you get so you get the alternative US dialogue version. Now, what they did was when this movie came out, it was a massive hit. And they they sort of exported it to America. Now, a lot of the American people imagined that they couldn't understand the Scottish accent. Now, I think that the Scottish accent in here isn't that broad. It is in a few places, but not that much. I thought they might have redubbed it with American people, which would have been crazy, but they didn't. They redubbed it with very well spoken English people or very well spoken Scottish people on. And it look it sounds it's not horrendous, but it's just not the movie that I knew. If I watched it, I would be constantly saying, imagine if I put this on and I didn't realise that it was this version, I'd be thinking, oh my God, what's happened to the audio? So it's on here, it's quite good. And actually it is in 4K as well. I was really surprised that this was actually on 4K because I thought it'd just be like an extra and it wouldn't have a 4K version of it, but it is. So you get exactly the same amazing uh, presentation on the one with the alternative language. I don't know anyone in the UK that would actually want to hear it that way, but maybe it's a one that's familiar with people who uh, live in the US and they are they are wanting to hear that one. So don't know if you live in the US, and this is region free as well, so you can play it on your player. You will get, if that's your preferred dub, you will get it, and that will be in 4K. And like I say, the 4K on here is absolutely amazing. The sound is pretty much the same as the other one. It does sound a little bit better. I don't know if it's just my ears. But it comes across as uh, two-channel stereo on this one. And I think this is two-channel mono. But I don't think that there's any difference for me. But it's got a nice soundtrack. It's very clear, very crisp. And yes, I am so pleased to get this movie, finally. After hearing about it for quite a while. I do like the presentation. I do like the fact that they've kept the price down a bit. To recap, it's a great movie. 
it's just one of those movies that really speaks to people of this age. It might speak to kids these days, although it might seem like from a bygone age, if you're a youngster watching this movie, you might be thinking, wow, is that what school was like back in the day? I mean, it was. But for me, with nostalgia trip that I'm on in this movie, for me, I think this is the perfect representation of school life in the 1980s, bar none. So, thanks for watching. Highly, highly recommended. You take care, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers.